fuck? Why Crips put money on his head? Now I gotta figure out why the Crips put money on folks' head. That that that's some shit right there. That's some shit. We gotta figure out why the fuck the Crips put money on his head. All right, y'all already know how the fuck this shit to go, man. We just found out. We still don't know who the fuck this nigga is. Why is he on no jumper? Who was he famous for? We we gotta figure out who he is because I'm trying to figure out how the fuck he even get on no jumper. Like, who the fuck is this Jesse motherfucker? Why is we even watching videos on this guy right now? We gotta be watching videos on this guy because he did something to, did something with his life to get known, and I don't know what the fuck he did to get known. Like, I, when when I first heard of Jesse. I thought of the Disney Channel show. I ain't finna fly to you. I thought of, hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. You feel me? But yeah, let's see why the, how the fuck he got into it with the Crips. You had never put anything about you being down with the trains thing out there publicly before. This is the first no, time no, that no, you no. put it out yeah, on yeah, social media. There or was one time some shit came out of me on the internet one time, bro, a couple years ago. And anyone that's from Long Island is going to get a laugh at this one. But yeah, some shit came out of me on the internet when I was doing weird shit, bro, selling myself for drugs, bro. Oh, shit. To men. Whoa. Me, dog. Me. Whoa, whoa. 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 I just went to go see if I had some more fruit snacks and I was all out and I come back to here. What? We play that shit, folks. So Long Island's gonna get a laugh at this one. But yeah, some shit came out of me on the internet when I was doing weird shit, bro, selling myself for drugs, bro. Oh shit. To men. Whoa. Me. So the plug. What type of gangster licious ass plug he found? What the fuck? I ain't gonna cap to you. I didn't know plugs. I, I know plugs motherfucker trying to get that punani. Shit. Hey, sweetheart. You don't got the bread for that three five? Meet me in the back. Meet me in the back. Give me that guac guac three thousand shorty. If you get that three five, and I might add a little point five extra. You feel me? But uh but a whole buff ass muscular white dude, nah, fuck. I don't know where the fuck he from, but it's some wild shit going on out there, and I'm not trying to be a part of it. Me, dog, me, in a motel room selling myself to men. Yeah, I admit it. I was up on drugs, man. That's not the story I'm trying to get. Don't fuck around with these. Hey, he a real nigga though. He a real nigga though, cause I ain't gonna cap. Lots of motherfuckers wouldn't even admit they was doing some freaky diggy ass shit like that. That's why I said in the last video, I got respect for folks just because he don't give a fuck. You can't you 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 can't hate a motherfucker that don't give a fuck. You feel me? Things, man. Mm. The drugs mm -hmm. will dress you up however they want to dress you up and make you do whatever the fuck you gotta do. Damn, so how long were you doing that for? Uh hey, hey, I don't I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. You feel me? And I think that's probably why. That's probably why he like trans because he like that zesty shit. Because I ain't gonna cap to you. The drugs just enhance what you already damn near feeling. Like I ain't gonna cap to you. That's why when niggas pop them jiggers, they be trying to fuck. But when they drink alcohol, they be trying to fuck. Some niggas they get to try to kiss on niggas and shit. I heard. I heard. I heard about that Lil J shit. Lil J popped a pill and tried to kiss one of his homies. I don't know if that's true or not, but you saw what Lil J was doing. So it's like, it depends on who you are as a person. If you a freaky deaky ass motherfucker that like to fuck on niggas, the drugs just gonna make you like, you feel me? You probably was hiding that shit and now you just out here like Lil J. You feel me? So just don't say, oh, the drugs is the reason why you doing that shit, bro. Because lots of people that take drugs will not agree with what you just said. Probably I could go like six months. And mm -hmm. what happened was, you know, my, my crib set and, and my dad's club found out. And I was involved with both at the time, mm -hmm. hanging around both. So now you got to think, bro, I got people what are we saying like there's going to be money put on my head type shit, bro. Right. You know, yeah, if I come around, you're getting smoked. But then I had then I had some crib, I had some crib you know, I watch my language here, bro. I mean, that's how I speak. So I say the yeah, word is what it is. 
But hey, whatever you gotta do. Yeah. I asked him now a couple from my crib home. He was like, yo, you're just I ain't gonna cap to you. You see me, I ain't the type of motherfucker that really trip if a motherfucker say nigga. It depends on how you say the nigga. Like if you just saying the shit like I ain't gonna cap to you. Like niggas be over, over motherfucking what? Over sensitive. I ain't gonna cap to you, bro. These rappers say nigga 24-7. And you want and y'all want the white motherfuckers to support y'all music, right? If I was white, you got me fucked up if you think I'm finna listen to y'all motherfucking nigga, 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 nigga music and not say nigga. Fuck you thought this was, bro. Y'all, y'all got the game fucked up. I don't care if my ancestors put put belt to ass. That don't got shit to do with me. I'm fun them. That's why I said I, I could have been a white motherfucker because I'll be bugging up with black motherfuckers. <laughs> I ain't gonna cut to you. But I ain't no sensitive ass motherfucker. It's about how you say it. Now, if you say nigga trying to belittle me, oh, yeah, we getting on your ass. But if you just, oh, yeah, man, you know, niggas just say nigga. You feel me? You niggas be over sensitive. Like, I don't be tripping about that shit. You feel me? It's about how you say it. It's just all good, bro. Like, fold your flag respectfully and go live your life, bro. Mm. You know, go back to Florida because I moved home for a little bit and that's when I started doing this when I was living with my dad. Mm. And, bro, like, when this shit came on the internet, it was embarrassing shit, bro. Mm. Yeah, me up in women's clothing, dog. Because yeah, this, yeah, this is make... not embarrassed stuff, but this other shit was... Whoa. So you tell it, B. These niggas had you dress up in woman clothing. I ain't gonna catch you. I don't understand why people would want to do this shit, though. Like, but I guess they, like they say, they say you guys build different. Like, everybody built different. Because I wouldn't see, like, I don't understand how niggas could like niggas. Like, motherfuckers, like, I, I don't even like, I don't even like the way myself look. What are you talking about? And I'm the best looking motherfucker in the world. But I love the way the females look. Carmen Pritchett, I'm making these videos so I could be able to beat the duties down. Uh, hopefully she'll see that shit because I'm just fucking around. I just want to be your friend. What the fuck am I talking about? I wanna. I'm just playing. I wanna be your friend. Shit that you didn't want to be yeah, doing. You were just bro, doing yeah, it yeah, because yeah. you did drugs. I'm in women's fucking clothing, bro. Sell myself for drugs. Now find me a man that can admit that on camera, bro. You guys can make right. fun of me if you want, but it's, I'm trying to spread a message, man. It's easy to make fun of me, but it's, it's a lot harder to actually sit there and maybe think what just I was a feeling. Real person. That, 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 that's what I'm saying, bro. I, I fucked with folks, even though I'm, I'm, I'm joking around saying this, saying that that shit's still some freaky ass shit. But at the end of the day, you gotta respect them, folks. You can't be here, oh yeah, woo woo. Like, you gotta respect the nigga at the end of the day, folks. Cause it's like, niggas is not doing it. He could be a little J ass motherfucker lying and shit when his video's out. You gotta respect folks. Bro, like some pictures came out. My man hit me up one day when I was with my other chick. Just a natural chick who was never down to swing, have fun, nothing. Like just very, you know, uh, whatever the want to call it, traditional. Uh -huh. So she's like, yo, like, oh, Jess, I love you, bro. But like, there's some shit on the internet about you, bro. That's like, you know, pretty bad. So I, I looked at it, bro. I fucking fainted, bro. Straight up, real. Fell down. My girl got the phone. Let me see that. I fell down to my knees with a law came. That shit probably, bro. Damn. Imagine getting exposed, not getting exposed for being gay. That shit hurt. Cause it's like, think about it. Niggas get exposed for eating eating Bob's coochie. That shit like damn. Then niggas get exposed for motherfucking having schmeats. Damn, that shit hurt. Niggas get exposed for motherfucking not knowing how to beat the doonies down right. For burning. But wearing women's clothes while you while you with your shorty and your shorty find out, that's the ultimate embarrassment, my nigga. Especially if you didn't want to do that shit. You, you, I feel sorry for him myself. But he, he was doing that freaky ass shit. What the f 
oh my god are you gay ah, ah, like all this crazy shit woo, woo, woo. i got family members hit me like one thing that happened is my father never hit me up not once that was the only person i wish would have called me because i wanted to kill myself right off the rip bro mm-hmm. that's how much that's how much cyber bullying and this may sound corny for me to say we're bullying been so different if you got that support from just your father yeah, your family your it's your child. Your dad didn't hit you up because he didn't know. He would not hit me up because he, he found out. Was oh, so embarrassed because his entire club knew and everyone's hitting him up. Mm. Like yo, you. Know- I ain't gonna cap to you. Just think about it, bro. Just think about it. You know, you with the guys. You know, yeah. My son a boxer. My son a football. My my son playing sports in college. Yeah, my son going to be a doctor. My son fucking niggas for drugs, wearing female clothes. Come on, bro. You, you made your father look bad, bro. I, I wouldn't want to call my son either. Come on, now. Come on, now. Let's be real. But let's be real. What fuck is you talking about? But no, nah, bro, that shit is kind of fucked up. He should have like, yeah, like, son, I know you're a freaky dicky ass motherfucker. But I'm going to look out for you at the end of the day because you're my blood. I made your freaky dicky ass. I went wrong somewhere. You know what a real man would do, bro? Is you know your son probably wants to kill himself. Why don't you f- sit there and make sure he's good, man? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, and that should go for any father, or any kid, or any parent. Like, man, make sure your kids are good, dude. Because it's a rough world out there. But I have like ten thousand fucking people reposted it from my area because I'm a well-known guy where I'm from, bro. Right. For, you know, both counties, Nassau and Suffolk. So who the fuck is this guy? I'm still trying to figure out who is Jesse. Can someone can someone comment who the fuck is Jesse? Cause I don't know who this guy is. And I'm just watching this video like he's a famous motherfucker. Everyone's reposting this shit. It's going around my girlfriend's family at the time, my aunts, my uncles, mm-hmm. my cousins, my parents' phones, mm-hmm. pictures, bro. Crazy. I just wanted to I literally wanted to kill myself every day, man. Mm. You know, I felt now why? Now, I got another question. So, he was letting these niggas record him and take pictures of him as well? Oh, he was down bad, bad. Like, what the fuck, folks? What drugs did he have? him Because he blamed it on the drugs and the drugs had to do that. What was you taking to make you want to do that shit, my nigga? Because I need to make sure I stay far away from that shit because what the fuck? But even then, I feel like ain't no drugs gonna make you do no shit like that unless you want to do. Like you see, you see them certain crackheads, you know, they they a motherfucking let you beat them up. Some of them they let them like you feel me, throw rocks at them. You feel me? Some of them motherfucking do backflips off the roof. It all depends on what type of crackhead junkie you is at heart. You feel me? Some of them do that freaky ass stuff. Because that's what they want. That's the type of nigga they is at heart. You feel me? It's different type. I, I seen niggas that drug that. I mean, I don't know what they. I don't know what them chuckies doing the free time. I ain't acting like I know these niggas or whatever. But I don't, I don't think they doing that shit. But also, them junkies not doing interviews, saying they life either. So shit, we never know. So be I. I always used, I used to be that guy that would make fun of people. Right? And I realized why. Wow, what the. F- did I do? I, I deserve. I deserved every moment of that, bro. Mm. I deserved every moment of that shit. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I don't. I don't. I don't hate on anyone for for posting or any of that. I probably deserved it because of the person I used to be back at home. Wow. So say I'm a changed man now, and people make these comments like they want me to come out and be that person. If I was in that, if I was that person I used to be, and I ran into you, man, it's going to be a problem. Mm. And you're going to regret it. Do you ever I, go back to Long Island now and you see I'll people from your old life? There's nothing I'll, I'll, there. Yeah, there's nothing there for me, man. I got a couple brothers out there. You know, my boy Nick Jordan, Tyler Lenny. You know, some brothers that really hold me down and, and respect my lady. And I'll, I'll do anything for those guys, man. You know, like they're, I got a, I got a couple uncles that, that got my back. But, hmm. you know, they can only say so much because, you know, they got to respect my father's views. Like, you know, my father wishes death on us, bro. Yeah, that's a wild thing that I've seen over and over is that I will I will be talking to a crib. I don't understand I still just don't understand, like, but maybe it's because, like, I, I don't like niggas. Like, I don't like, I like to be, a, like, I don't, like, my homies, I don't like being around them niggas for too long because I get annoyed and shit. You feel me? You know, niggas be musty and shit, all types of shit. They don't want to be around niggas all day. And then, you know, we damn near finna fight and shit. 
sometimes you just want to cuddle. I'm not cuddling with no hairy ass, musty ass, dreadhead ass motherfucker. That shit over with. And I'm not cuddling with no dreadhead motherfucker that turned into a female. That shit over with. I'm focusing them. But it's just like, why? Why? When it's females out here that was born females. No, no hate though. No hate because it's like you like what you like at the end of the day. You feel me? At the end of the day, you like what you like. And he probably, uh, like I said, bro, like a bromance or some shit they got going on in that bitch. Because you feel me? You're still a dude in the chromosome. You feel me? So they probably got a lot of things they can relate to, like playing the same video games. They probably did the same shit growing up as kids. They put blood on here. And a lot of times in this day and age, they're fairly open minded about gay people and whatever. Yeah, and and a, a, a lot of them will shit. say, Listen, if you want to live your life, live your life however That's you want to live. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to hate you. Yeah. But then when it comes to street shit, when it comes to the gang, all of a sudden they have a very different tune yeah. when it comes to that. Oh, yeah. That shit over with, folks. That shit over with. But it is some gangsterlicious ass thugs out here, too, now. So it's like, but yeah, with the street shit, that shit over with. Like, when you, when you go to jail, they're going to ask you if you gay or straight. Just because you get fucked, the, the straight motherfuckers will fuck up the gay motherfuckers. And they'll yep. say, like, listen, that will oh. never fly. Right. And with, I get, like, the know. crossover between that, like, you know, especially since, you know, Jesse isn't even a part of anything. Mm. Yeah, so no more. That's my why, past. why past. should it even be an issue? Why should yeah. it even be just because of somebody's past? It doesn't mean that they can't change. It's just like if somebody that was overweight wanted to get fit and live a healthy life, like they want better for themselves. Like, Why can't we want better you know, for so ourselves? When I was getting high, my family would have done anything to get me sober. Mm -hmm. I get clean, I get sober. I meet the love of my life right here, man. I don't really mean that. And now you guys won't just be happy. Like now I got clean and sober. Now you want to kick me out the whip? Like, you it was better for it, it, it was it, it was like a cost that came with that shit. Like, yeah, we want you to be sober, but we didn't want you to be sober and gay. That, 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 that's what that's what they didn't want. You feel me? And then he got to understand too. This nigga is like thirty years. This nigga older than me, so his parents is older than my parents. My parents don't fuck with that gay shit, but it's like. My sister and all that. She be on that type of time, you feel me? I ain't gonna, like I said, bro. So it's like, parents be more understanding now the younger, you feel me? Like, okay, it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. But the older, older motherfuckers, that shit over with, bro. That shit cooked. You is not convincing an old motherfucker that you finna be fucking with a nigga. Or a nigga that's dressed up like a nigga. I mean, a nigga that's dressed up like a female or a nigga that had money to turn into a female, that shit not cutting it back in the day for them old folks. You you thought you they was for the fuck with you? No. You guys you guys could go fill up the tank when it hits half that I ain't gonna be around, bro. Like you guys could have that, bro. I got I got a cold heart from all the shit we've been through, bro. Like I got fired from a job for dating her, bro. Yeah. Right. I got fired from a fucking plumbing company for dating her, bro. In Long Island or in Florida? Nah, Florida. Florida. Right. And there's some legal shit going on with that. Oh, really? you know. Then another time, like some shit we. I mean, that's pretty fucked up. That, that that's pretty fucked up, though. Like if you ask me, like that's that's like discrimination. I feel nobody should get discriminated based off of what they like or what this is. That's pretty fucked up. Now get talked about? You can't stop nobody from talking shit. Like, niggas will talk shit about you for wearing certain shoes. Niggas will talk shit about you for, for motherfucking having your hair dyed a certain way. So talking shit, that's just that's just like, if you can't handle that shit, you should have stayed inside your dad nutsack. You feel me? But on that note, discrimination, stopping someone from making money and shit, yeah, that's fucked up. It don't matter if you're gay, straight, an alien, motherfucking, you shouldn't discriminate motherfuckers, bro. That shit's fucked up. Now, if you want to talk about them, you can talk about them. But you shouldn't, like, you know, they should have the same equal opportunities as any other person. You feel me? And that's just how I feel, regardless on who you are. You feel me? And I don't gotta like you. But just because I don't like you doesn't mean you shouldn't have the same opportunities as me. 
we dealt with all 2023, but our life is just now getting good. God, God's been good to us recently. That way for a year straight, someone was sending pictures to my, my, my parents, my father. From my OnlyFans. From my OnlyFans, which is weird because you got to be subscribed to get to it. But sending pictures and I'm, 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 I have my. That shit is. You think about it. Photo that sent the pictures to his peoples probably like that shit. But then at the same time, too, you can't really say they like. You can't really say they zesty if I guess they got female parts down there because it's like you're looking at a good JJ. Technically, I guess. And, uh, uh, I did. My best friend with me, my big homie, it's the sixth grade, like a big bro living with me. And I'm telling him, bro, someone keeps sending these pictures to my dad. So they stopped for a while, and then my mom was like, Yeah, your dad said he might come around and talk to you. So I was all excited, right? Like, like a little kid. And boom, I, I told my roommate the deal. I'm like, yo, like my dad said he's gonna come around the next morning, some pictures to send to my dad. So I'm telling my girl, man, it's gotta be someone close to us, mm. right? And my man, and my, I'm like an investigator. I'm my, like, she's living with me at the time. Something's off. She's living with me. Yeah. She was living with me and my roommate, my best friend, for a long time, cleaning up after him, everything. To find out, bro, it's my roommate the whole fucking time, bro. Oh, shit. Like, this is the shit that we deal with, all because. Of Damn. Snake. Snake in the grass, bro. That's pretty fucked up. You feel me? Because, like, if I ain't gonna hang around you, I'm not gonna hang around you. I'm not finna be hanging around you and then motherfucking being some snake ass shit. Like, that's, that's some fucked up ass shit. If you don't wanna be around that shit, <clears throat> And you have a problem with it, just don't be around it. But for you to motherfucker send that shit to his peoples, knowing that this dude trying to get close with his father and shit, that's some fucked up ass shit to do, you feel me? Motherfuckers really be fucked up. I date a trans girl. How do you, you know figure I mean? out it was the roommate? Uh, be, he I admitted forgot. it he, when he, I... He, 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 someone, he admitted it somehow or some shit. I don't know how it came about, but it somehow we tracked it back to him and uh, I called him and I was like, no, it yeah. happened again. He did it again. Yeah. too." And I was like, it is what it is. You need to, you know, I'm going to press charges mm. because those are, you know, privately owned pictures. You mm -hmm. can't just be sending them, distributing them around without my consent. Right. Um, unknowingly. Oh, I don't know how really much you're going to be able to win that shit because it's like, you posted it on the internet. They paying for the pictures. They literally paying for the shit. You got me fucked up if you think I'm finna pay for some shit online and not be able to send that shit around. Brody ass cooked in the head. You know, in a hateful, spiteful way. So, you know, I have my lawyer and everything and... <sighs> We called around, we called his job, you know, got him fired, yeah, like, you know. That, that hurt don't, me, man, like that, that was like, crazy. Don't you stole, you stole my girl's first impression. Yeah. She can't get that back. Mm. You stole that. My friends it's like, let them look at their that. own time. Don't just throw it in their faces. Because you felt like you had a chance to introduce your parents to her yeah, and to, have them be accepting. Them so you feel they would have been cool with the only fanship they would have got to know him first. I mean, they got a they had a problem with you dating trans already. OnlyFans is just like shit. I feel like they just wasn't gonna like them already just because the trans shit. And now the OnlyFans was just like the icing on the cake, as they say. You feel me? His mom yeah. has been amazing. She's, my you know, I knew it was going to take her shout a little time. And it's very big for me because I've never had a boyfriend's mother accept me. Mm. Um, you know, for me, my old boyfriend um, smacked me in front of his mother and she asked me what I did wrong to upset him. Wow. <laughs> like, yeah, that was when I, that was in Long Island. That's when I knew, like, that was my, like, okay, I gotta get out of here. But, you know. <laughs> he laughed. I was like, damn. That shit low key is kind of funny, but he was laughing. Was some other shit because I wasn't even laughing at first, but then he laughed. I'm like, damn, that shit is kind of funny, but he was laughing about some other shit. But damn, you think about it though. So if a nigga hit a trans person 
Ain't that basically like them hitting the dude? Is it? Oh, no, no, no. It's a hate crime, folks. That's what it is, folks. You can't do nothing to that. He's, he's just fully supported me through and through, and he's just so loving. I, I support and her. I feel so safe with him knowing that no matter what we go through, he's always going to be here for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'll always be here for him. I know. I know right now if I got caught up and I had to do 10 years, bro. I'll if, be right if, there. Send him the commissary. If, if, I, if I woke up without a dollar tomorrow, <laughs> my girl would never let me star. She'll never let me freeze. I, I put everything into this girl right here, man. And I think a lot of men should do that. You know, like our relationship, bro. Like we, we help. That's all we partner help, is. We help supporting couples. somebody. Mm-hmm. You know, that's supporting your significant yeah. other. Tell them, like we have a lot of couples that hit us up. We have yeah. a lot of other types of people hit us up. Bro, we help a lot of people mentally. We saved a lot of people. I've had people tell me you saved my life. Inspired. You know, showing me that there's hope that I'm gonna get a man, you know, as a trans woman. I've you know showed men hope to be able to speak about this shit. Mm. You know, and that's what I'm out here trying to do, man. Like I'm not trying to push no agenda on nobody. I'm just trying to like recently, this girl Can helped me. Can we not post our lives and be happy like everybody else? Right. Like, like this, this girl. This girl helped me get comfortable with myself. And the most beautiful thing is, through getting me clean, she helped me find my purpose in life. Mm. This is my purpose, brother. Being around this stuff, spreading a message. How long were you guys together before you decided that you really had to get? Well, actually, no. How long were you together before you realized you were in love? Like, how long did that? So, I, I'll be honest, man. I, I really fell in love with this woman pretty quick. Mm. I really did, man. I really. Man, niggas fall in love fast as hell, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you. Niggas be just like that. As soon as they do some wild shit, out of love. But folks says you fall in love with the OnlyFans woman. It ain't really shit that could do to really, you know, fuck up your head and make you mad because you already decided to date someone that's doing OnlyFans. It ain't no worse than that felt it and there's days where i have where i talk yeah, i feel her. like i knew i just like, knew this was the guy i was supposed to be with and travel on our journeys and have fun and experience life together i think that's what life yeah. is all about is enjoying it with your partner mm. like there's days man where i, I call her i'm like babe i I'm we just call feeling so this, much I'm feeling myself time, like every- fall deeper in love with you like i miss you so much right now at work like, I can't wait to come home to you. Like, I He'll tell call her, me I with feel a customer. The, yeah, I call, bro. Almost every one of my customers, man. Customers in what line of work like, now? Like, they always see the background on my phone. I'm a plumber. Okay. So. Right? I've learned so much. It's they amazing. they <laughs> see the background on my phone. Like, oh, my God, who is that? My house, my girl. She's gorgeous. And once in a while, like, yeah, I'll bring it up. I'll be like, yeah, like, you know, the best part about this girl. like, If he like, reads the room If correctly. I read the room right, I'll talk mm. about it. I've had customers can sit there and cry. They got a Biden like, bumper sticker. You're like, okay. <laughs> you're like, we yeah, got yeah, it. I could probably bring it up. Yeah, yeah. But no, I've, had, I've had Trump fan customers too. Like, you know what, brother? Mm. I'm not into it, but you just showed me a way to better respect it right. because of the way you and put it. And I don't it. think it matters what side you're on. Just be a fucking good person. Mm. You see, I ain't going to cap to you. But the type of person bro is... It's kind of hard to like, you feel me? Like, be on some hating ass shit and be like, oh, woo, woo. Like, you see, normally I make more jokes. I never make jokes like that because it's like, folks says is a real ass nigga at the end of the day, folks. You can't take that from folks. You feel me? That's what it is. 